okay so uh, today let's do some uh, proper I, I mean I'm gonna give you a proper introduction to what is continuity now first of all we start the section with two informal examples to actually get a feel of the continuity now first of all consider the function consider the function f of x is equal to what? 1 if x is smaller or equal to two 0 and 2 sorry for that uh, 2 if x is greater than 0 now this function is of course defined at every point of the real line let's let's draw a graph for this function now uh, okay I may be pretty bad at this forgive me for my serious lack of drawing skills okay and um, we have this point and we have this point okay now wait a second still not done we have x where did I even write that we have x axis here x we call this x dash this will be y dash and this will be y now this is the um, function y is equal to f of x right now we're talking about this function f of x now this is the point 0 comma 2 and this is the point 0 comma 1 right now basically we can deduce from the graph that the value of the function at nearby points on the x-axis remain close to each other except for x is equal to 0 so the function is not actually defined on x is equal to 0 so at the points near and to the left of 0 that is towards this side the 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 po at points like about minus 0 0.01 point zero zero 0.001 negative 0, zero, zero, one, negative zero, zero, zero it, it just goes on but it never is 0 right it never is 0 and at the points near to the right of 0 uh, that is at points like 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.00001 but never again is 0 so for for the points to the left of i mean this the same direction to the left of 0 the value is 1 because we can see that the function is defined for x smaller than 0 when we say smaller it is obviously negative and in this graph the negative it's towards the left so for all the values of x which is smaller than 0 that is it, which is negative is 1 right it's 1 did I just cover that okay it's just 1 now for the values of x greater than 0 that is all the positive that is 0 0.01 as I told you the value is 2 right so this is how uh, the topic about what uh, the left hand limit and the right hand limit comes in so anything towards the left you're talking about the left hand limit and towards the right you're talking about the right hand limit so using the language of left and right hand limits we may say that the left hand limit of f in this particular function at f at 0 is 1 so you can say that um, let me write that down for you 
uh, we can say that the left hand limit left hand limit of f at 0 is how much it's 1 it's 1 and um, similarly for the the right hand limit okay the right hand limit of f at at 0 is 2 right so we you should also note that when we try to draw the graph we cannot draw it in one stroke that is without lifting the pen from the plane I, i'm sure i didn't lift I, I i i might have lift the pen from the plane a million times from now you can't just draw uh, draw the graph in one stroke so we cannot draw the graph of this function in fact we need to lift the pen when we come to zero from the left so when we come from, from to zero from the left we have to lift the pen and uh, this is one instance of the function being not continuous at x is equal to 0 right uh, b because uh, well uh, as I mentioned in my previous video for the given function to be continuous at x is equal to 0 the left hand limit must be equal to the right hand limit but right hand I said the right thing okay so the left hand limit should be equal to the right hand limit but in this case uh, the left hand limit at limit at f at z 0 is 1 whereas the RHL of f at 0 is 2 so I'm sure that in your right mind you would never say 1 is equal to 2 so the given function is discontinuous at 0